Good morning and thank you for joining us on Plus TV Africa's Off the Press, where we bring you the headlines from our national dailies and we get into analysis and review of these headlines with our in-studio guests. And joining me this morning, as always, is Dr. Femi Dou Adegoke. Thank you, Dr. Femi, for joining us this morning on Off the Press. Good morning, Benny. Let's go to the dailies quickly, if we will. We start off with the Punch newspaper this morning, the very first headline in the Punch newspaper. Lack of gas hinders 4,000. 24.5 megawatts of electricity generation, and that you find on page 28 in the Punch newspaper. Massive economic health crisis looms, says the CBN. Vastity lecturers, Union attacks ASU over strike. Buhari mourns as 47 troops killed in Boko Haram ambush. Pretty sad one this morning. And still in the Punch, reps propose duty waivers, new tax regime, mortgage relief and Senate threatens to order MFLS arrest over 8.828.9 million naira payment. Fear grips ministers, governors, villa guests as Kiari 8 test positive. Buhari's chief of staff visited Germany, Egypt after Nigeria's index case. Osimbajo top ASO rock officials, Kogi governors go into self-isolation. Panic in Bauchi as Governor Mohammed's positive status is confirmed. And 62-year-old UK returnee tests positive in Ogun. 32 contests isolated. Still in the punch, NECO postpones common entrance <coughs> into Unity schools indefinitely. And Senate PDP Ayade mourns as Senator Oko dies in the UK. Six to die by hanging for murder in Ekiti. And we go straight into the major headlines across the dailies this morning. Fear grips ministers, governors, villa guests as Kiari aids tests positive. Now, here is the chief of staff to the president, Abba Kiari, um, confirming his status as at yesterday. Mm -hmm. And it, it leaves a whole lot to the mind to wonder how many people will have come in contact with him. And by the way, the president's result came out and they say he was um, COVID-19 negative. Your, yeah. your thoughts on this, please. Okay. Um... I've always said it, we have too much irresponsibility in government in this country. Um, I sympathize with the, uh, the chief of staff that is infected, but I can say, or we can all assume that it was irresponsibility on his own part. If he has traveled no, but out... When, when you say you sympathize with him, yeah. this is a man, this is the chief of staff who traveled out even after the that's, that's what I'm going. case that's what I'm going. was confirmed. Yeah. And so what's your sympathy for? Yeah, my sympathy is because I'm human. Okay. But on the second phase, it is irresponsibility on his own part. Because if he went out of the country, when we already have our index case, yes. when they refused to shut our airport and our borders, he went for, those, uh, for whatever he went for in uh, Germany and Egypt, where they already have the cases. Now on returning, you could not go to self-isolation as prescribed by the NCDC. Yes. That, so, that, 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 that reeks of irresponsibility yes, in, in, of leadership and yeah, government. No, no, yes. It's across board in Nigeria. Yes. Over the weekend, we saw one of the leading religious leaders who flouted the law, uh, the rules of the state, and opened the church. Mm. It's just, I'm hoping that after this whole um, pandemic situation, we as a people will be able to decide how we want to live. Because we totally, Nigeria, I said it here before, Nigeria is totally on a free fall. Look at the National Assembly. We heard that some of them came to the country, to the airport, and they refused to be tested. You know, it's pretty sad that for most of the confirmed cases we have in Nigeria currently, yeah. they were all imported cases. Yeah. There's not been anyone that originated from home. These were people yeah. who were allowed into our airports, our yeah. entry point, yeah. and they were not checked. Only after a few yeah. days to realize that, you know, yeah. they were confirmed positive and yeah. the number seems to be increasing and it's really? worrisome. I was just having a conversation with my MDCO a few moments ago, um, Mr. Kaudia Kintemi, and we're talking about the disease not being airborne. Now, if you watched yesterday on the floor of the Senate, there was, there was a plenary session where yeah. a supposed senator actually had the face mask on yeah. and it was about to sneeze and pulled out the mask to sneeze yeah. openly without yeah. covering his, his, his mouth with his elbow. Yeah. And, the video has made the rounds, yeah. you know, and you're going to wonder if our leaders are actually taking this issue really, really um, serious as it should. That is the house that makes the law, where policies have been given out. And someone who was supposed to set an example had the face mask on, yeah. took it off it out. to sneeze. Yeah. yeah, you want to comment on that. You see, the challenge we have in this country is we, uh, we have people who do not have track record 
of leading one person or two people. Yes. They've never managed any establishment and they want to rule a country or govern a country of 200 million people. And that's where I have all these uh, irresponsibility in government that we have in this country. Uh, the, the National Assembly you're talking about, it's, they all pussyfooted about it when this, before the thing came to Nigeria. Even at the time when we had the index case, they were all still pussyfooting, uh, it's not a black man, they, you know, different meat that has now been demystified was uh, on the lips of everyone. But now it's come close to them. I'm sure one of the headlines says fear grips them because uh, Abaki has attended uh, uh, what, what the, the weekly meeting with ministers and yes. the president, and he must have contacted some of them. And already we have that three members of his own staff are tested positive. Yeah. Do you know how many people And the, the, vice, the vice president is yeah. in self-isolation isolation, as, yeah. we, as we speak, yeah. yes. The, the governor of Kogi State has gone into self-isolation. Yes. So, do you, do, do you know how many, the exponential multiplication, how many people they've met? So, he just... so this, is why, this is why many people feel, you know, that as, as a people, especially the government, we're yeah. not taking this thing pretty seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's, it's biting us now. We said it, we said it yesterday, about two, three weeks ago, we've been saying it, that we're not being serious about it. But now, it, it just tells us that we're so like a dicey in dealing with everything that we've done in this country, and that's been our complaint. And once again, I want to commend the effort of the executive governor of Lagos State, um, Baba Jide Sanwala. Yeah. I think he's doing a fantastic job and leading, you know, the front, at the front on things that should be done. And I'm just hoping other states, other state governors will emulate what he's doing to keep um, the citizens and residents of Lagos State safe as it is. Um, it's, it's a complete shutdown, but a few, a few places have been yeah. shut down. Schools have been turned to marketplaces yeah. where people can still get their food stuff, um, medical wares as, as a sort. Do, do you think eventually we, we're going to get to a place where we'll see a complete shutdown in the country? Uh, well, in the country, um, I don't know. And it does state, by the way, has confirmed its first case of, um, yeah, of, of I, coronavirus. I don't know whether we'll get a total shutdown of the country. But Lagos State, like you said, we must commend Lagos State government, the governor, and the commissioner for health. They've been on top of the, of the situation. They've been leading the nation where our National Assembly and the federal government have failed. If, I'm telling you, if Lagos State Governor had the powers to shut the border, the airport coming to Lagos, I'm sure he would have done it long before now. Look at now, the, uh, the, uh, he came out in a press report yesterday that by tomorrow, certain markets will be closed. Yes. School, now, because Lagos has shut schools and Lagos has um, uh, shut uh, civil service, other states are following suit. So, Lagos State, we must commend, it seems the man, he knows what he's doing with his team, and they're on top of their game. That's right. We must abide by whatever they say right now, yeah. because the country will be on a free fall if we're not careful. Now, there was a reported ambush by Boko Haram of um, yeah. seven, 47 troops that were killed in an ambush, and it's just pretty sad. Just as soon as you think, you know, we're, we're putting a hand on this, we're getting a handle on this, um, you get a yeah, pretty much sad story. We're not getting a hand on it. And it seems, it seems because of the, the, the COVID-19. The COVID-19 has taken over the center stage. stage. Yes. So other things are still happening. All the, the politicking among these politicians is still going on. It's in, the, in this paper today. Uh, P, the PDP is calling, even in the midst of COVID-19, the PDP is still calling for the Asarok true state you know, they're still playing politics with the uh, mind game with this situation. The Boko Haram and the banditry, and it's still going on. But we're not talking about it because we have a, a bigger issue yes. that is like a, 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 a biological warfare in our hand. All right, let's go straight to the Nation newspaper this morning. Senator Rose Oko dies in UK at 63. And Amotekun Oshun Ondoekiti begin recruitment. Nigeria orders to lose $65 billion revenue. And also COVID-19, Buhari COS, Kiari, governor positive. Um, that seemed to take it all in the big front page in the, in the nation newspaper this morning. And also Unilag gives 14-day break to, to um, okay, give 14-day break to, to one to 12 workers and also Policeman should couple dead. COVID-19, Buhari, COS, Kiari, and governors test positive. 
And amazingly, as, as at yesterday, there was a report in the news that um, the, the lawmakers were afraid that they were very concerned about about 36 or 38 of uh, lawmakers on the floor who yeah. probably have been out since the, the yeah. inception of this COVID-19. And people have decided to make this like it's an elitist disease because for those who have so far been confirmed with the case, uh, are people at, at the elites, at, at, the ruling, at the ruling class of society, you know, and it begins to make me wonder, I mean, where did we get it wrong? What did we do on time? I mean, what exactly can we do now to curtail the further spread of this virus? Because the numbers are on the increase. Okay. Benny, we know what we did wrong. But what we need to do right now is to contain it, to minimize the spread. And that is why the call... How can we even do that when we don't even have the, 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 the specific numbers of people, that's... contact cases, I mean, aside the index cases? Yeah, that, that's, why, that's why we need to stay at home. That's why you need to minimize. Like I tell people now that I just work on a triangle. From here, I go to home and I back to my office because I work for myself. There's no social gathering. No, I don't want to see anyone now, right now. Let me just know where I am and I know, so I know who I'm contacting. I know who I'm mixing and who I'm talking to. But the, this is not the time to go uh, on social visiting. This is not the time to go traveling and doing all sorts. It's not the right time. So that's the only way we need to uh, seclude ourselves. Stay at home yes. is the main option now, that we need to stay at home. Yes, I know economically, because of our system, we cannot uh, order a total shutdown, especially Lagos because people who live on a daily uh, income. But we can, we can, we can try to uh, reduce, have a partial shutdown for, for now, and let's see how it goes. You know, the, the report by the NCDC say we have about 40, there are 44 reported cases right now. Maybe yeah. we'll say, you know, that, that number is more, but these are the ones that have been confirmed to us authentically yeah. by the NCDC. Yeah. And so um, the concerns are, you know, 44 confirmed cases, and these 44 people will have had contacts with other people. Yeah. And given the fact that we're a country that we're not so good on, on data, yeah. and <laughs> we're not, it, we're not it, so it's good worrisome, stuff. you know, that it could, be, it could be larger than the, the, yeah. the numbers of reported cases as it stands right now. Mm -hmm. And still, we see some people not taking this very seriously. And one major concern um, Lagosians are expressing right now is the means of transportation. Many people still take the buses. Um, you can't confirm people's origin. You don't know where the next man is coming from, who he has been with, who he has spoken with, you know, and... It's all, all of those fears around it all. Makes, makes it pretty much worrisome and scary for a lot of people. Yeah. Hey, but let, another, another, another um, thumbs up for Lagos State Governor. This morning I heard in the news that um, the inner coming and going out of Lagos is going to be shut down. And so we, we're going to deal with people that are inside Lagos. And the markets from tomorrow are shut down in Lagos. So um, what, we, what we need to do is, like Lagos is doing, get more information out to people, and people will be aware. And I can tell you, driving all the way from the mainland to the island this morning took the shortest time ever because the roads are free. Uh, so people uh, are beginning to... You know, man, and just, just, just on a lighter note, and there's a new strain of another virus that's come out of China. And maybe we're saying, you know, I think it's time China should be wiped out as a nation from the world. We're still trying to grapple and deal yeah. with, the, with the coronavirus yeah. that originated from Wuhan in China. And now here's another new strain of a virus, I mean, yeah. coming out from China. And we're just hoping at the end of the day that this is not the, the end of the war, like it's been <laughs> rightly said over time. Yeah. And let's take a look at the Guardian newspaper lastly this morning on Off the Press. 16 governors, service chiefs at Riggs after meeting with Kiari. 16 governors and service chiefs. And that is pretty scary. Panic as new strain of virus claims life in China. Boko Haram insurgents ambush kill 47 soldiers in Borno. And closure of Lagos market courts, recreation centers take effect from tomorrow. Minister cancels COVID-19 briefing as FCT resident doctors suspend strike. 16 governors, service chief as weeks after meeting with Kiari, and that included, um, you said it earlier, the Kogi State mm -hmm. Governor. Yeah. And he didn't just meet alone with the governor, he met with also his, his aides, the deputy yeah. governor, and yeah. other staff working yeah. within yeah. Um, the, the government house. Yeah. But well, what I want uh, the media or where we're getting this information and CDC, what they should do is, this is not a time to hide the identity of whoever yeah. has come in contact, who has tested positive, so that we can trace and then people can know, because especially the, the National Assembly, I, I read in the news there's about 10 members of the uh, Senate and 10 members of the uh, House of Reps, Reps yes. 
uh, refused to take the test. We need their names so that people, because there are a lot of uh, common people who run after these politicians for handouts, so that you know where you have been yes. in the last few weeks, so you know what the risk you're carrying. We need their details. How we uh, need their I, names. I think, I think the test, the test tonight has become like it's 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 a, it's 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 a necessity. I think every, everybody should actually. If, if they have their way, go about and, and conduct this test to be sure. Yeah. Because it's, it, you, can, you can be positive without any symptoms yeah. um, showing up. Exactly. So if, if it's possible, as, as a social um, responsible thing to do, maybe yeah. every, everybody should be advised to just go, go check your status to know if you're positive yeah, or because, negative. That's why they say you should self-isolate yes. and see how, because it, it doesn't manifest uh, in some people until 14 days. Yeah, after 14 days. Yeah, so self-isolate for 14 days. And the NDCC uh, director, Actually did that when he came. So he, when he came back from China, he went on self isolation, and I think other leaders or other people in a uh, uh, position of authority should have followed suit. But knowing Nigeria, but what we are, we didn't, and we have a case in our hand. We have a huge task on our hand to deal with. Dr. Femi Dowa Dekuke, thank you for joining us on Off the Press this morning. You're welcome. And that's all we can take this morning on Off the Press. Join us same time tomorrow morning on Plus TV Africa's Off the Press. I am Benny Ark. Do have a good morning and stay safe.